know if you've been following the news, but I've been keeping my ears open, and it seems like everyone, everywhere, is super mad about everything, all the time. I try to stay a little optimistic, even though I will admit, things are getting pretty sticky. Here's how I try to look at it, and this is just me. This guy being the president, it's like there's a horse loose in a hospital. It's like there's a horse loose in a hospital. I think eventually everything's going to be okay, but I have no idea what's going to happen next. And neither do any of you, and neither do your parents, because there's a horse loose in the hospital. It's never happened before. No one knows what the horse is going to do next, least of all the horse. He's never been in a hospital before. He's as confused as you are. There's no experts. They try to find experts on the news. They're like, we're joined now by a man that once saw a bird in the airport. It's like, get out of here with that shit. We've all seen a bird in the airport. This is a horse loose in a hospital. When a horse is loose in a hospital, you gotta stay updated. So all day long you walk around, oh, what the horse do, what the horse do? The updates, they're not always bad. Sometimes they're just odd. You're like, the horse used the elevator. I didn't know he knew how to do that. The creepiest days are when you don't hear from the horse at all. Get down in the operating room like, hey, has anyone, uh... Has anyone heard... Those are those quiet days when people are like, it looks like the horse has finally calmed down. And then 10 seconds later, the horse is like, I'm gonna run towards the baby incubators and smash him with my hooves. I got nice hooves and a long tail on the horse. And it's like, oh, that's what I thought you'd say, you dumb fucking horse. And then... go to brunch with people and they're like, there shouldn't be a horse in the hospital. And it's like, we're well past that. <laughs> and then other people are like, well, if there's going to be a horse in the hospital, I'm going to say the N-word on TV. And it's like, those don't match up at all. And then for a second, it seemed like maybe we could survive the horse. And then 5,000 miles away, a hippo was like, I have a nuclear bomb. And I'm going to blow up the hospital. And before we could say anything, the horse was like, if you even fucking look at the hospital, I will stop you to death with my hooks. I dare you to do it. I want, I want you to do it. I want you to do it so I can stop you with my hooks. I'm so fucking crazy. And he's like, you think you're fucking crazy. I'm a fucking hippopotamus. I live in a fucking lake of mud. I'm fucking crazy. And all of us are like, okay, 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 okay. Like poor Andy Cohen at those goddamn reunions. Okay, 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 okay. okay. And then for a second, we were like, maybe the horse catcher will catch the horse. And then the horse is like, I have fired the horse catcher. And like, he can do that? That shouldn't be allowed, no matter who the horse is. I don't remember that in Hamilton.